So <laughs> Brett, Ma Brett Maher, I mean, the first one is like he missed it. It's like, all right, that's an extra point. Just kind of pushed it a little bit. The second was like the exact same kick. And if you've ever, like, if you've ever, and I, I, I think Troy Aikman made this comment on there, and I said, I said in Slack, I would make this comment. So I'm going to make it before I you know, set this up for you, Breach. If you ever play golf at all, you do, like, it's the same thing. You hit two of those shots, and immediately this gigantic, like, flood of blood rush, rushes to the top of your forehead, and you start to freak the F out. And you're like, holy crap, I don't know how to do what I'm trying to do physically. And so naturally, as a kicker, you overcorrect the next one. And after three, you're like, okay, there's, there's it's almost impossible. This guy can't miss a He missed four straight extra points, Breach. What? Give us, start to finish, what the hell happened? I'm well, going to hit the mute button just sit here. First of all, this is just, it's, it's unbelievable this happens. It's unprecedented. This was NFL history. No kicker in the history of the NFL. We go back to like, the 1920 Rochester Ironman. I don't even know if it's a real team, but the, the kickers back then who couldn't even make kicks did not miss four extra points in a game. So in that sense, it is unprecedented. And Brinson, to your point about the golf, uh, look, it was already, I think, kind of in his head because if you rewind back to week 18, Cowboys versus Commanders, Dow scored one touchdown in that game. Uh, guess what happened? Brett Maher missed the extra point. So he was already coming into this game with that in his head, most kickers move on. You don't think about it. But then when you go out and miss your first extra point of your next game, now you've missed two in a row. Now it is kind of in your head. And the weird thing about this is that all four misses were similar. Uh, if you've ever watched just a bunch of NFL games, which obviously all of us have, every kicker lines up the ball differently when they're kicking extra points. Brett Maher likes to put it on the far left hash uh, because he kind of likes to aim his kicks to, to a, the slight right so that he can theoretically split the uprights. Uh, but, you know, none of that worked tonight. And then he missed all of his kicks right. One went off the upright. And so that it, that just means the kick isn't horrible. Just part of his technique, whatever it was, I'd have to watch film to know exactly what it was. It probably is plant foot or his insteps just slightly past the right upright. But whatever it is, uh, you can't miss four extra points in a game. And now that you're the Dallas Cowboys, you're sitting there thinking, my God, we have this guy who holds the NFL record for most field goals of 60 yards or more. Brett Maher has made four field goals of 60 yards or more. No other kicker in NFL history. Not Justin Tucker. Not anyone has ever made that many. Uh, Brett Maher is money from outside of 50 yards. But you put him inside 45, he's like a reverse college kicker. I, I don't even know how to describe this. And so uh, this is definitely a situation the Cowboys are going to have to worry about because if the 49ers and Cowboys are going to play a close game, uh, you have to be able to trust your kicker. And if you're Mike McCarthy, I don't know how you can trust Maher right now. You set him out for a 43-yard field goal in the first quarter on Sunday, and he misses it. Can you even use him the rest of the game? I'm not sure you can. So uh, they have some big decisions to make, and they're going to have to make them the next 24 hours because usually you have those tryout days on Tuesday. Uh, you know, Mike McCarthy, they're going to have to make some phone calls on the flight home back to Dallas to see if they can get a tryout set up for tomorrow. But you got to try and do something, at least bring guys in. Maybe you don't actually sign them. You keep Mar, but you have to leave your options open because this is, it was just insanity. Uh, it, last it, thing. Yeah, go ahead. No, I was just saying, like, if you're, if you're, um, we almost made it the whole five minutes. Well, he, I was pretty much, no, 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 he was stopping. He was stopping. I, <laughs> I, I, I felt right. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, okay. I felt like I did an appropriate job there. Yeah. Um, if you're like the Ryder cup captain, or you're, you know, you're, 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 you're in charge of picking who's going to do this job. You're just like, look, man, like, like Brett, you've been great all season long. I mean, when he, when he hit like five, like five, six here, like this guy can't miss from 60. You can't, if you miss four extra points in a playoff game, you shouldn't win that playoff game. Well, against a remotely competent box. team. Yeah, that's right. But here I have two, one question and then one comment. Uh, I'll say the comment first. Uh, maybe what they should do is get the, the long snapper to punt it back to like the, the 50 yard line and let him kick 60 yarders as extra points. That's one option. Number two, and breach ask this every time during the regular season. And you always say, well, there's no one better on the street. Who's on the street. That's going to be better than Brett Maher. Uh, a better at kicking extra I mean, points. Anyone on this podcast at this point. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I mean, that's funny, but I'm, I'm serious. Cause you don't have a lot of choices. Correct. I mean, all right. If your life was on the line. Would you be willing to, would you like. Would, Brett Maher would beat me in a field goal competition from every no, 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 yardage. No. 
you have to make four. You have to make one of four extra points. I can do that because I can kick field goals because I have a background in. Uh, you got a bad ACL though, and you're old. Well, I'm willing to put that. Uh, however much money you want to put down, I'm willing I, to take I would, that from you. I would look again. It's it's a whole different ball game when you. This guy's a professional kicker. He's good at his job until tonight. But when it, again, it's the psychology of it. Like you miss that first one. You're like, oh. Am I like opening my? Am I opening? No, my I team? understand all that. My question was, what's Plan B? Because as Breach has pointed out throughout the season and throughout the years on this podcast, there is no easy Plan B right. on the street. And you right. go and get, well, you go get like some random dude off. Wow, Billy, working tonight. I know that's not a list of free agents. That's that's, that's the list of guys who are going to be a free agent after the season. So you can't right. add any of those guys right yeah. now. We appreciate it, Billy. Um, <laughs> but the, yeah, you can't like. I like I like the effort. I'm just saying, like you, I don't know, man. I think I would go with Bahar. I, I don't know what you do. You can't. I'll tell you what you can't have happen. You can't have like a Tuesday leak where Brett Maher is going to visit a sports psychologist. Why? Wow, that, like, that doesn't affect him. He's going either way. I'm just saying you can't. You gotta keep it in house. Uh, okay, that never happens anyway, does it? <laughs> Again, my question is this: Breach, what are you doing? Uh, all right, I do. I think I have one name. See, the thing is, I don't know if people are on practice squads. And uh, one guy you could go out and sign is, is friend of the podcast. Rodrigo Blankenship Ooh. is out there. Uh, so the Cowboys could absolutely give him a call. Um, He's a big I Lego think, guy, too. Whatever that's worth. Uh, Matt Amendola is out there. Uh, he's kicked for a few teams, but like you said, Wilson, there aren't a lot, a, a lot of great options. Those are your words. Probably your two best. Uh, I think Aldrick Roses is out there. Uh, he's played a couple years in the league. Uh, but I, I think you have to go with Maher. Those are your probably top he's, three options. He's 91% coming into this game in the regular season. I mean, I'm sure you listed these stats. I wasn't listening. I was trying to be quiet so I wouldn't jump in. <laughs> He led the league in pass like for like extra points attempted and, and made ninety four point three. You just have him. You just have him go out there and you know what you do. You go. You go out there and on Mo on Tuesday you get victory Monday. Tuesday you go out there and you have him bang down five to ten extra points left footed. You might be out there a while. Uh, and, and Aldrick Roses was a Pro Bowler in twenty eighteen, but then this guy. This guy's Giants struggle because he got the UI. I'm not. I'm not saying you cut him, but so breach if you miss. Four or five extra points, and the first four are actually critical as the game is is playing itself out. The fifth one doesn't really matter. And I don't care if you made ninety one percent or ninety nine percent, or you hadn't missed one prior to that point. I would imagine your mindset's going to be completely different over the next four days as uh, compared to the previous four months. But, go ahead. Yeah, I, I mean it's going to be in his head. There's nothing you can do. Uh, you know, you talk about it. We've seen whether it's uh, was it Chuck Knobloch who forgot how to throw. Oh, that's a weird. Yeah, that was horrible. No, it's it's just like it's the it's yips, not, it's and yips. and it's. It, Look, I've I've gotten the yips playing golf before. I, I don't. Well, I don't want to tell this story. All right, well, I'll breach tell this story. No, you you're, not you're not paid. You're not paid millions of dollars. You know, like there's a huge. Yeah, but you have so many millions of dollars. You can get a coach to come in and give you slight tweaks to your mechanics that will straighten it up. But the, the point you also is not, might not want to tweak your mechanics five days right. before a game because what if well, that messes you up in the game? I, you already messed up. You missed four extra points. Well, I mean, but you did okay during the season. There, there's there, you, you shorten your swing. There, there's stuff they can do. So you're telling Breach how to kick <laughs> under pressure situations. Is that what I'm getting? Then you shorten your swing. I mean, like, no. You're I'm, not gonna, I'm like, saying that what you don't do if you're the Dallas Cowboys is go get another kicker. No one's saying that. I'm just asking Breach how this is going to play out based on his experience and his dad's experience. I just think you bring in two or three kickers. That doesn't mean you sign them. Maybe you keep Maher for the game, but you have to have your options open. You have to know someone is there. If What if you get to practice Thursday and he misses four extra points? Like You just have to be ready. You have to plan for the worst and hope for the best right. if you are Mike McCarthy. Imagine if Mike McCarthy... Has the 49ers beat? He's the, the it's 30 to 28. We're talking to tie it up and all no, 30, but Yeah, or it's 30 to 28 <laughs> with three seconds left, and they're trying a 35 yard field goal, which should be a gimme. And Maher misses it. And all we talk about is the fact that Mike McCarthy didn't go out and get a new kicker. No one's going to blame Maher. It's going to be Mike McCarthy know, sticking yeah. with his kicker. Uh, and so that's another part of this you got to consider. Oh, Breach, by the way, Lucas uh, Pulaski has a great question in, in, in Slack. I don't know if you would know this off the top of your head. I would imagine you do because you know everything about the great Jim Breach. Did uh, Jim ever miss uh, multiple kicks in a game, and what did he do to fix it, Breach? 
Uh, he did miss multiple kicks in a game. I do not think he ever missed or yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. It's probably happened multiple times, but it's different when it's like a playoff game. This is a high pressure situation. And this is like a choke job, a meltdown, if you will. So it really just depends. Well, that's what you don't see. I mean, this was a historically bad thing. A kicker missing a field goal. Most of them can just stop thinking about it, move on. You know, you put it in the lockbox and you keep playing. Um, so yeah. And so most of them recover. And usually the only time they think about it is if maybe, you know, we saw Mike Vanderjack, uh, Blair Walsh, Billy Cundiff are all guys mm. who missed a last second field goal that seemed kind of mentally hurt by that and never really recovered to become kickers in the NFL again, because they missed a high pressure kick that cost their team a game. And so that happens. And that's not what happened here, but it was still historically bad. So it, 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 I feel like most kickers can move on pretty easily unless they cost their team a high profile game or a situation like this. There's never been a situation like this because the first time it's ever happened. So it's hard to say how Maher will react. All right. right here's, 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 a fun, here's, here's a fun fact for you. The first time I can find Jim Breach missing multiple extra points in a single game. Uh oh. Oh, he missed extra point. Those are short extra points, too, Breach. 1988. He went, a, I had to go a long way to find multiple missed extra points. Your dad then made. 30 consecutive extra points in a row. You've never missed a lot. Like, I mean, not a lot of extra points. They were, hard, they were harder back then, right? No, they were 20 yards. No, they were, I mean, the fields were different. That's the only difference. They were, they were closer eight, and easier. That went eight for eight one game uh, against Tampa. So, Brinson, you you, you're, extra points. you're Mr. Positivity with special teams. Let me ask you this. Let's say Brett Maher has a great week, and then he misses his two first extra points in this game next week against the 49ers. What are you doing as Mike McCarthy? You don't, you don't kick again. I, I think, I, I mean, it, look, this is... What if, a, what if there's a 45 yard game winning kick as time expires? You don't have a choice in his fourth and eight. You bring out uh, Dak Prescott. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think, I mean, this is what I would do personally from a, and, and again, like, no, I don't even know that any, like, even like if you had an NFL head coach on here right now, like that they would be able to speak to this because you're talking about four straight missed extra points. Like it's, it's an unusual, I would lean it. I would be like, no, Brett's our guy. He is our guy. He's going to make these kicks. He's been fantastic all season. We're not worried about it. We're not bringing anyone in. We're going to let him fire away. And if he has three good days of practice, you don't sweat it. Now, if he goes out there on Tuesday and he's playing balls left and right, you got you got something to think about. Indeed. If you bring I, a bunch of, if you bring a bunch of dudes in, you re, you're undermining his already shattered like, confidence. Well, I'll say the other thing that doesn't help his confidence, even though the decision ended up working out in their favor, is when. Uh, you know, you have a chance to kick a, I think like 35, 36 yard field goal in the fourth quarter and you're, you're winning. You're thinking it, it was fourth and four and the Cowboys went for it and got a touchdown, which, you know, awesome, great call, but that you, that plays into you're messing with your kicker's confidence even more. Poor Brett Maher ran out in the field. Like he was going to kick the field goal. And someone's like, yeah, Brett, we don't trust you anymore. And when he watches highlights from this game, he's going to see Dak Prescott like giant scowl and, and mouthing. We need to go for two because he was so upset with all the missed kicks. And so, uh, you know, Jonathan Jones is saying here that the Cowboys are all supporting with the locker room, which was what you expect. He's going to see how they really feel when he watches the highlights from these games. By the way, your dad, I mean, your dad's stats are kind of sneaky, incredible. 95, 96%. Extra points for his career. He was a decent enough kicker for his era. He never missed an extra point in the playoffs and made 81, 81.8% of his field goals in the playoffs. And if you look at him, like anyone that was remotely late in the season, like late in the, in the, in the run, he buried it. His playoff numbers are rock solid. He's better playoff percentage than Justin Tucker, Adam Vinatieri, Hall of Famer, Morton Anderson. Uh, friend, friend of the podcast, Jim Breach. And holds the NFL record for the most overtime field goals without a miss. So he was very rock solid and clutch. Situation. I call him the original Jeff Reed, if you didn't know that already, Breach. <laughs> That's where you got the serial killer mentality. From. Yeah, breaking paper towel machines <laughs> out of bathrooms. Um, okay. Who did that? Was that Jeff Reed? That was, in fact, Jeff Reed okay, at, okay. Uh, at the Sheets, as it turned out. Guys, I didn't did think you, our, did our Monday night playoff podcast with Tom Brady's last game in Tampa was going to turn into a kicker podcast. Jeff Reeder, Mike Vanderjack. Who's your favorite idiot kicker? <laughs> uh, Vanderjack. He, now that's a miss that you don't come back from. I mean, that's Peyton called him an idiot kicker. In the well, he was first game drunk and mouthing off to the, to the sheriff.